The money lead. It looks like Motor City has found its mojo. Detroit's big three saw a surge in auto sales last month, the biggest in almost six years. But surprise, surprise, it's not the economy or even a better business model fueling the comeback. CNN Money correspondent Zane Asher is live in New York to explain this all to us. Zane, what's really behind these numbers? Hey, Jake. Well, you know, it's a number of things. Uh, firstly, we've got these record low interest rates. Uh, that's, make, that's making car financing attractive. Right now, you're looking at just under 2.5% for a car loan compared to more than 4% in 2006. So things are very cheap right now. Also, I want to talk about pent-up demand. Okay, so the average American car right now is pretty old. It's roughly around 11 years old. The oldest, in fact, uh, believe it or not, that it's ever been. Uh, and people are now ready to switch old for new. They're ready to head to those showrooms again. Uh, and plus, you know, home sales, construction, and renovation activity, as that increases, you're going to see a big boost in pickup sales because that's what a lot of independent contractors tend to drive. Definitely good news for American car manufacturers, Jake. And how do these numbers compare to the sales of foreign cars here in the U.S.? Well, it's a little all over the map. So the big three American car companies, uh, GM, Ford, and Chrysler, were all up between 5 and 6%. Uh, some co foreign car companies like Honda saw an even bigger increase, whereas Toyota and Nissan both had slightly slower months, only roughly around 1%. Uh, it's been a big turnaround for American car companies, though. They tend to focus more on pickup trucks and SUVs. They were hurt very badly during the financial crisis, partly because these vehicles tend to guzzle more gas. Also, a lot of the businesses that buy pickup trucks were closing down. Now we're seeing things slowly start uh, to turn around. Uh, US, U.S. car companies also want to mention they're trying desperately to compete with Asian cars, adding more bells and whistles. So Ford's uh, got this sync system, and Chevy's got a MyLink infotainment system, uh, working with smartphones to integrate music into the driving experience. So they're trying to compete with their Asian counterparts as well. Jake? And Zane, how does the future look? Well, experts predict that uh, uh, 15 million cars will be sold this year. Uh, right before the financial crisis, 16 and a half million cars uh, were sold. So we're not really that far off. Also, as the housing market improves, we're going to see a big boost in car sales, especially uh, with pickup trucks. One problem, though, I want to mention might be urbanization. Uh, so more people moving to cities to find work that might have a slightly negative impact on car sales. Overall, though, there's a lot working in the car manufacturer's favor right now. Uh, so the upward trend should continue.